it is easier to see what is coming than to see what is. Our imaginations are posters on the wall. They cannot be pulled down by laughing history and they answer when you call. See these leaves of ink? They are the chronicles of the struggle and the dream and will not fall. My name is George Gunn and I am a poet and a playwright. The poster's poem is a, is a memory poem. You know, it's thinking about, what, what, I was 23 years old in 1979, you know, and I remember there was a big rally uh, after the, the referendum for devolution in 1979 where the, there was that sense of betrayal and just a total cynicism from Westminster towards the desire of the people of Scotland to have their own parliament, their own government. You know, the poem is about Sandy Bells and it, it was a store where the creatures met, you know what I mean? To come, came here to argue and sing and dream and you know, listen to Hamish Henderson and... So this is what the poem's about, about remembering all of that and, and all the energies and the magazines that came out of it. Your job as a, as a poet is, is to observe. That's your job. You know, through observation comes revelation. So, and I think, you know, the, the poets uh, from the 70s through the 80s, right through to now, have, in Scotland, have had a very, very important role in, in steering the political uh, dialectic, you know, the dialogue, the ideas. Poets are like great white sharks. They constantly move forward, and if they stop, they die. They, they, they suffocate under their own specific gravity. They keep moving forward. You've got to keep moving forward. And that's what that poem is about. It's about moving from that struggle when you couldn't see the wood for the trees, you couldn't see the future. You, it was very difficult to envisage a positive outcome for Scotland somehow. But now it, it isn't. It's an optimistic place to be, I think. And I think we should celebrate that. <laughs>